welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Lexi and today we're doing a haul video from Diamond Art Club just showing you what I got for the Black Friday sale that they had recently. I have been on a no buy and I finally broke my no buy. Um, I have been doing that for a while just trying to kind of like catch up on some diamond paintings that I already had in my stash. Um, I'm a very slow diamond painter, so I have a ton in my stash that I haven't done yet. And I kind of went just like on a no buy so that I could kind of just save up some money and wait until Black Friday knowing that they were going to have an awesome deal. And also, uh, you know, historically they usually have a lot of new re releases for Black Friday. And so I wanted to just kind of like wait until they had those new releases, see what they came out with and then take advantage of that great sale that they have usually every year, which um, they did have this year. So for Black Friday, they did 30% off of your order, which is amazing. And so, yeah, that's what I did. I, I went on a no buy and I waited, kind of saved up a little bit so that I could get paintings that I wanted. Um, some of these that I'm going to show you are new releases and then some are older paintings that I had on my wish list for a long time that I wanted to get. So very happy to have them. <laughs> um, so I am on like the diamond tier for Diamond Art Club. So I got early access and I had planned <laughs> to stay up until midnight Eastern time um, on, you know, the night before. To get the early access because I really wanted um, two of the You May paintings in particular that I knew were going to sell out and I could not stay up. <laughs> so then I was like, okay, well, so I woke up at four o'clock in the morning after I had fallen asleep at like 11 and I was like, oh no. So I rushed to the website. The paintings I wanted were gone, but I remembered from like years past that they usually also release more for the general release on Friday. Um, so I'm like, okay, well, I'll wait until, you know, for, uh, I think it was 10 a.m. on Friday, um, see if I can get them. And I was lucky enough to actually get them, and I'm very grateful that I was able to get them. So I will show you what I got. Um, I'm just showing these just like to share what I got. I like to see what other people pick out and what other artists people like and you know, I like to see what people collect, and so um, I thought I would just share what I got. Um, so I have them all sitting next to me here, and it's going to seem like it's all you may, but I swear it's not all you may. <laughs> I did get other artists as well, but there's a lot of you may paintings in here. So I'll go through them and I'll show you. I am hoping to do some unboxing videos of these to take a look at what the actual canvas looks like. But in this video, we'll just keep it simple. I'll just show you what I got. It's just a haul. <laughs> so, alrighty. So, first up, this was the one that I, um, well, there was, it's one of the ones that I really wanted to make sure that I got out of the new releases. And it's one of the You May paintings. This one is called Seeding Imagination by You May Art. It's absolutely beautiful. So, what I love about this painting is the very soft colors um, and imagery that exists in a lot of you may paintings. Um, but I also love that this is beach themed. It's got the sea turtles. It's got like the element of like the animals. And um, I really tend to go for paintings that do have people in them. So it's got a person and animals. <laughs> so I love that. It's got just like these beautiful blue waters on it. Um, so I just love that. All of the paintings that I got are squares, I believe. <laughs> um, I'm not like really at this point either a squares or a rounds. I don't really have like a preference. I just go with like whatever painting I like. And I think, yeah, I don't really have a preference, but it just happens that everything I bought was squares this time. So it's squares. Um, the size of it is 22 inches by 44 inches, and it's absolutely beautiful. So this is one of the ones that was sold out um, when I woke up, <laughs> and I was like, oh no, but was lucky enough to get it in the general release the next day. Okay, 
Next one is also You May. I told you there's going to be a lot of You Mays in here. <laughs> um, this one is a new release as well. This one actually was not sold out by the time that I had woke up. Uh, this one is called Inner Garden. Also by You May. Also squares. This one um, is pretty much my style. It is kind of that creepy cute factor, um, which I really, really like. So it's got, I just really like the imagery, the skeleton and the florals. I really love the colors of it. Um, yeah, it's just really, really pretty. So this one is also square, 23.6 by 35.4 inches. All of these Yume paintings, I swear, are things that I would like to frame and hang up in my house if I like get them done. Like I said, I'm a slow <laughs> diamond painter. Um, but um, they're all they're all so like colorful. They have beautiful colors in them. I know that I'm going to enjoy working on these and. Um, honestly, they are ones that I would consider like hanging up in my home as well. Next, you may painting. <laughs> um, so the wishing tree. Oh, I guess it's just called wishing tree, uh, not the wishing tree. But that's by you may as well. This is absolutely gorgeous, and I want to hang this one up in my bedroom. Um, I'm currently redoing my bedroom to be um, like kind of dark green, like olive green, and um, maybe kind of different shades of sort of that olivey green color. And I just feel like truly the colors of this will go in there. And I think this would be so pretty to hang in my bedroom. Um, so the diamond shape again is square, 20 by 40 inches. So it's kind of like a skinny long one. <laughs> um, and it's absolutely beautiful. And I think, I can't remember who it was did an unboxing of this. I think it was um, Emeralds and Fairy Lights. I think it. Um, I saw it. And it was just absolutely gorgeous. And um, so I've, I've wanted this one for a long time. It's not a new release. It's one that was on my wish list for quite a while. Um, so I've really wanted this one for a long time. I was like, I'm going to get it. And I was hoping that it would still be like in stock and on the website by the time that Black Friday rolled around. And it was there, and I was like, oh, thank God. <laughs> um, okay, what else have we got here? Let's see. I, I have one more you may, so we'll show one more you may, and then we'll get to the other ones that I got. So this one is Under the Stairs. It's another you may painting. Um, this one was another one that was sold out when I woke up, um, and I was... Um, really hoping that I could get it. And I, if I'm not wrong, I think this was the one where, um, they maybe accidentally oversold a few copies of it. And unfortunately people were not able to get their hands on this one. So I feel at, like extra grateful to have this one. Um, so yeah, also squares 27.6 by 37.8. I just love this one. So I have this one and then another one that is kind of like bookish themed that I'm considering like hanging one of these like over my bookshelf in the living room. Um, but yes, I just love this. I love, again, the imagery by You May. I, I really just love all of those paintings. And um, yeah, this one is just too cute. And then so I also have the flower delivery one as well. Um, that goes along with this one and maybe I should do both of those and then hang them together and then save my other one for over the bookshelf. A lot of planning that has to go into this. <laughs> so yeah, so I got that one. So, uh, ooh, balancing those. Um, okay. So this next one, I didn't know I needed this one, but then I saw it. I actually saw this on Elisa's live stream I think um that she was doing on Thanksgiving and she was talking about it and I was like you know what I need that one <laughs> so this one is called Secret Temple am I holding it the right way Secret Temple it's from Image World um and this one is amazing the rendering on it is looked amazing um, it's kind of a big one. Let's see. It's 
by 27.6 so kind of the same size as that you may one I showed um, but it's landscape this is another one that I could see like framing and putting up in my house it's just it's so beautiful a lot of confetti in there on that on all of these really <laughs> oh these are gonna fall over let me put this back up here okay just a couple more uh, so this next one is the one that I think I will put over my bookshelf. This is not a new release, but it is one that I've wanted for a long time. This one is Hazel's World by Dakota Detweiler. And I've wanted this one for a long time. I know several of my friends out there have completed this one and it always looks so beautiful. I really, really like the symbolism of this one. So you can see it's a girl reading and she's got like all of her toys and her books in her room. And then on this side is her imagination and all of those things coming to life. And I just like the symbolism of that. And I just thought it'd be really cute over my bookshelf. Um, so when I finish that one, um, you know, years from now, since I'm so slow <laughs> at diamond painting, um, I can maybe frame this one and put this one up. That'd be great. Um, just one more, <laughs> just one more. So this one is by Jeremiah Kettner and I, um, was introduced to Jeremiah Kettner's artwork at the beginning of this year when I did the, I actually did the Jeremiah, uh, DP along with Brie, um, from Painting with Pities. She did a, an event and I believe she's going to do it again this January. So I'm prepared. Um, I absolutely love Jeremiah Kettner's work. I got this one. It's called The Great Big Owl. I love owls so much. I've loved owls like since I was a little girl. And I have lots of owl things like all over my house. And the I mean the colors are just amazing in this one. I really love the cute kawaii style that he does in all of his paintings. <clears throat> And so I had to get this one. <laughs> had to get this one, so now I am prepared for the event. Um, and beyond that, I also just really loved the, the picture. So, yes, had to get this one. So this one was on my wish list as well. Um, and then I got one more thing from Diamond Art Club. Not a painting, but I did get a 10-tip placer. Now, I have tried their um, single placers in the past and I really like those with the exception of they're too long I kind of like the shorter stubbier ones um and so but this is kind of like a different these aren't as long it doesn't seem like so it looks really really good it looks really thin so I thought I would give that a whirl and try it out because I have not tried the multi-placers like this um, from Diamond Art Club. So I thought I would try that out. So I got one of those. I thought I might as well. It was kind of like one of those like add-on things when I was going to the checkout. I was like, oh, let me add that on. And so I got one of those. So yeah, that was my Black Friday haul uh, from Diamond Art Club anyway. I did purchase some other things outside of Black, or out of, outside of, um, Diamond Art Club for Black Friday. Um, like I bought my bookshelf that I'm going to be putting up and then hanging my Dakota Detweiler picture over. Um, and I bought like some just different things for Christmas presents and stuff. But this was my diamond painting Black Friday haul. So let me know in the comments below what did you get diamond painting wise. Doesn't necessarily have to be Diamond Art Club, but what did you get uh, diamond painting wise for Black Friday? Did you find any good deals? Did you get like something you've been wanting for a long time? Let me know how it went for you. Um, I had a lot of fun doing this. It, I feel like it was more special because I didn't buy anything for a long time. I kind of just like waited and then it felt like a big event to uh, break my no buy and <laughs> get some stuff that I really wanted and some cool new releases. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider giving me a thumbs up and thank you so much for being here. Um, you know, subscribing, liking, commenting, all the fun stuff. So I will see you in the next one. Thank you. Bye. Thank you.